Hi, I'm Glenn Mauer, and today we're going to be installing the Moride CRE 3000 suspension system along with the Moride X Factor cross member brace on my Grand Design Imagine 2670 MK travel trailer. Let's get started. Yet to do this job, you just need simple hand tools half inch socket, 916 socket, 1116 socket, 1316 wrench, torque wrench, thread sealer, Loctite. And on this job, when we do the installation, we're making one change. Because we're using the X-Brace, we're going to swap out the wet bolt that comes with the X-Brace in this top position here in place of the bolts that are included with the CRE 3000. Because of the design and thickness of the cross brace where it bolts on, this is a longer bolt than these, and that's why we're going to make that change swap over. Zerk fitting will face to the outside of the trailer. All the rest of the Zerk fittings will face to the inside of the trailer for ease of lubrication. You're going to use the bolts included with the cross member brace from the outside with the Zerk fitting facing outside the trailer. And then that keys in to the hole on the end of the X-Factor brace and then your nut would go on the inside. We'll show you that once we're installed underneath the trailer. After you've jacked up your trailer, put your jack stands in and made sure that the, everything is secure, then you can go ahead and remove your wheels. Might want to break those lug nuts loose first before you jack it off the ground. And then we're going to be removing the front hanger bolt, the rear hanger bolt, and the center equalizer assembly to start adding the CRE 3000 parts.
So we're all done with the installation of the Moride CRE 3000 suspension system and the X-Factor cross brace. Going to take it on a road trip to Nashville and see how it works on the rough roads. We'll let you know. Thanks for watching.